Hey church, nice to see you. Obviously I can't see you, but I am believing by faith that you are there. Uh, my name is John Brace Girdle. I'm uh, part of the, uh, the business leaders team at church, you know, help out at car park. And uh, I'm also uh, one of the trustees. Anyway, my, uh, my verse for, for the devotion today is Psalm 105. Um, you know, take some time and, and read it. But it's 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 just all about Joseph. Um, Joseph, he 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 struggled. He got a he got a dream from God in the beginning, and uh, you know, then he told his brothers they didn't like it. They uh, they sold him as a slave, and then you know, he he just went from struggle to struggle. He got sold into Potiphar's household. He did well, but then he got accused of uh, things that he didn't do. He got put into prison. You know, the word of the Lord came to him in prison and he he spoke truth to the baker and the cupbearer and, uh, you know, thinking that maybe this was his time. But I think he, he spent nearly 15 years in prison. And, you know, wow, in that time, he certainly would have struggled. He certainly would have had days where, you know, he was thinking, would have thought, is, is God really in this? You know, have I got a plan? Have I got a purpose? Wow. You know, what? what's happening in life but there was something about the struggle that set Joseph up you know and in life sometimes well we all struggle and you know and and you know I, I love this analogy about um, a caterpillar and the caterpillar is walking along the tree branch and you know every day it just eats its leaves it's, it walks up and down the, the tree branch and it and it just, it's been this way before. Um, and I just want you to hold that thought because there's something about, as a church at the minute, we're, we're in exciting times because we, we are under a, a prophecy from our senior leaders who talked about, you know, the definition of madness is doing the same things over and over and expecting the same results. But when you do something different, you step into a new way. You know, we're going to get some different results and, uh, you know, we're just on, um, we're just, after COVID, we're just seeing the, you know, we're just seeing the, the fruits of 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 of, of that coming through in in the, in our vision. Um, but yeah, going back to the caterpillar, you know, and on this certain day, the caterpillar he, he feels different, and he stops and he 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 he, he out of instinct he he he, he makes a cocoon. Um, you know, I actually googled it and found out that a caterpillar actually digests itself to, to make the cocoon. But this is not a biology lesson, it's a devotional, so. And, um, you know, he goes into this cocoon, but in the cocoon, what happens is he, he finds himself trapped. He's imprisoned. And, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's actually stuck, but there's a change going on. He can feel himself change. It's metamorphosis, and he actually changes. And um, he, he probably can feel himself grow and develop. And a period of time passes, and it's, it's about two days, and uh, he starts to feel stronger. He starts to be able to move and he shuffle, and he, he realizes he's, he's, he's actually got, he's got wings, he's changed. He's, he starts to, 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 to move his wings and he starts to, to flap his wings and it's in that struggle that the cocoon opens up, the cocoon breaks free and it's in the struggle that the, the blood actually flows to the wings and actually gives its wings its strength. And as he opens up and pulls himself out of that cocoon, he's now free to fly and soar. He's, he's, he can now go on a new journey, he's going a new way. And now he's, he's, he's able to actually reach the things that he's only ever dreamed of. You know, going back to that caterpillar in the cocoon, if you Google it again, you know, Google's our friend, you know, if you actually help the caterpillar out of a cocoon, um, the caterpillar would be unable to fly because the, the wings would, have, would not have enough strength then to, to actually to actually allow that um, butterfly to take flight. 
talking about a caterpillar, it's actually now a butterfly. So, um, but, and um, it's, it's the struggle, it's the struggle that makes the, the butterfly strong. It's the butterfly that, it's the struggle that gives the butterfly the strength to open up its wings and fly. It's the struggle that makes it strong. But you know, our struggles in life make us strong. They make us the people that God wants us to be. They forge, the struggles forge a strength in us that, that allow us to, to kind of deal with this journey called life. You know, Joseph could have, he could have given up. He could have, he could have, he could have just quit at any time. But, you know, it was the struggle that made Joseph strong. If, if God had intervened on Joseph's life at any point in time, before he got, he got put in front of Pharaoh, Joseph probably would have, would have walked home. He would have walked back to his old ways. He would have walked back to his old life, would have walked back to, to potentially doing the same things that he did before. He would have walked back into his brothers um, and the potentially would have, would have killed him. So it was a struggle that made Joseph strong. It was the struggle that allowed God to, to work through him and elevate him to the most or the second most powerful person person in the in, in 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 the most powerful nation on earth at the time he stepped into a new way he stepped into his destiny he's perceptive he stepped into a position of rule and authority it was a struggle that gave him and equipped him with these skill sets to be ready for such a time as this god needs you to embrace a struggle because he wants a new path, a new way he wants you to go. He, he wants a new journey for you. I just want to encourage you, whatever struggle you're facing at the minute, that God is there with you, by your side. He's, he's, he's in it with you. Joseph had a promise. He had a dream. He, he, he held on to that dream. And, you know, we've got the word of God. It's full of promises for our life. One of my kind of favourite chapters in the Bible um, is Romans chapter 8. And it's just full of promises that we can stand on, that we can lean on, that we can turn to. You know, promises such as, you know, Romans 8.18, that God promises that our present sufferings are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us. You know, he promises to turn everything for the good. He's, you know, just the story of Joseph. You know, it just just turned it for the good. Um, he promises that, you know, that if God is for us, then who can be against us? And he promises that we are more than conquerors. You know, go on. I encourage you to go read chapter eight, believe it, stand on it, live it. There's a new day awaiting in your struggle. You know, God wants you to 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 grow and he wants you to break free and he wants you to soar. You know, going back to the, the prophecy over our church of, of going a new way, of doing a new thing. And, you know, as a church, COVID's been a struggle. It's imprisoned and it's locked us down and it's, and it's you know, it, it, it's kind of disabled us. But in that struggle, our church has been changing god's been growing us we've we 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 start moving we start struggling we start breaking free we start peeling back the layers of covid and as we we come out in the struggle it's going to make us strong and as a church we're going to be ready to fly into everything that god has got for us um which is going to be amazing you know, I hope you're encouraged. I just pray that you have a really blessed day. Know that he's with you. And then always, always enjoy the journey. God bless. Thanks for listening.